Hey guys, this is your girl Antoinette Curry with PBS Financial Coaching and Services. Come on in the room. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, 2021 uh, New Year's resolutions, right? Uh, I say goals. Some of you may think of it as uh, New Year's resolutions as we always do every year. Uh, we sit down at the end of December and we come up with some goals or resolutions that we give ourselves that we want to achieve for 2021 or for the year. So um, 2020 has been a year, I tell you, um, man, a lot of things have went on, um, a lot of things with my business, um, I actually quit my job in 2020, and I am a full-time entrepreneur, uh, but I want to say that it does have its rewards, and then there are some challenges as being an entrepreneur. Um, I no longer receive a check for going to work. I have to make my own money, which means that I have to get out and do things to make sure that I am getting paid. Okay, guys. So uh, come on in the room. Um, if you have friends that you would like to invite, uh, like and share this video. So that way you can get your friends uh, involved. And uh, I always tell my uh, people to... Uh, invite your friends let your friends know if you know someone that will benefit from this video go ahead and, and share it with them or you know save it and then maybe send it in an email or something like that so 2021 what are your goals for 2021 have you thought about 2021 um, it is almost the end of December and this is something that we need to think about we don't want to wait until um, January or we don't want to wait until the year to start thinking about what we're going to plan for 2021. I always tell uh, my clients to uh, make your goals or write down your goals for 2021 in December. Now, that doesn't mean that it won't change. Of course, things do change. You may have to revamp your goals or go back and change some things and that is fine that's fine if you do have to change some things uh, but there are five things that I want to talk about that can maybe help you um, think about your goals and help you achieve your goals for 2021 okay so the first one is uh, we always need to find our why uh, our why is so important because it is what encompasses everything else. It is what makes everything else, um, it gives purpose to everything else. So why are you doing this? Why do you want to fix your credit? Why do you want to buy a house? Why do you want to get a new car? Why do you want to get a new job? Or why do you want to open your own business? Or uh, why do you want to have a side hustle? Uh, why? Why? Write your why. Um, and the best way of finding out your why is to create a vision board. Um, of course, you know, I am big with vision boards. I do a vision board every year or every other year. Um, and I also conduct vision board workshops because I think vision boards are very important in our lives uh, to direct us and bring, bring focus of what's most important in our life because a lot of times uh, without a vision board we don't know what's important to us or we can't figure out um, what's the most or main focus that's in our life that we need to concentrate on and so creating a vision board can give us that focus and to hone down on the most important thing that we need to be working on uh, besides having 10 other things or five other things that we're working on, we can focus on that one. Um, and like I said, creating a vision board will help you bring out that why uh, you're doing what you're doing or why you want to change or why you want to lose weight or why you want to get healthy. Uh, it helps bring out that why. And then once you create that why, you can create goals and other things uh, to, to help you achieve that. All right. Number two is research. Always research. Do your due diligence, guys. Um, research um, 
whatever it is that you're trying to do, if you're trying to lose weight, uh, research the most uh, effective ways of losing weight. Don't just go by what people tell you. Uh, you want to do your own research uh, because a lot of times, you know, some people may be taking this and somebody may be taking that. And you don't, you don't know who uh, was best for you or what's best for your body type. Everybody has a different body type. So what they are taking, you may not be able to take because it may be something in there that you're allergic to or it may be something that causes side effects that they don't have. So I always tell people to research whatever it is or whatever goals that you're trying to achieve. If you're trying to purchase a home, do your due diligence. Go and talk to a banker. Go and talk to a loan officer so that way you can sit down, get to know them, ask them questions. Okay, now my credit score is a 500. I want to buy a house in a year or two years. What do I need to do to get my credit score to wherever it needs to be? Can you help me with the steps? Uh, um, is there anything else that I need to know? Is it just my credit score or is it something else? Because buying a house or uh, getting a car, a lot of times bankers look at more than just your credit score. Uh, there is something called a debt to, um, debt to income ratio. And what that means is they look at how much debt you have according to your income and that's how they can determine if you can afford the payments of whatever it is that you're trying to do if you're trying to get a car if you're trying to get a house if you're trying to get rental property or whatever it is they calculate what they call debt to income ratio and if you have a 700 credit score and you are in two hundred thousand dollars worth of debt but your income is only like $60,000, of course they're going to tell you, okay, you got to get some of this debt down because we can't give you anything else because if we're looking at your payments, you're not going to be able to afford this if we add this up. So a lot of times by doing our research, we get to understand that. And if we talk to people, we get to know why uh, things are the way they are instead of listening to other people you know, getting it from the grapevine, and then uh, we're going in unaware of some things, okay? So do your research. All right, guys, number three is educate yourself. Educate yourself. YouTube, I'm telling you guys, YouTube is a university. Uh, I, whatever it is that I want to learn, I go to YouTube, and I teach myself. Um, if I'm intrigued or if it's something that, that catches me and I want to learn it, I go to YouTube and I learn it. Like most of the things that I could do, like I've learned how to type, uh, I learned how to create documents. I even filed bankruptcy <laughs> myself. I learned how to do that through YouTube uh, and then research Googling um, documents and things like that. Googling sample documents. I found my own. I, I, you know, I didn't need a lawyer to file bankruptcy. I did everything myself. I typed up the documents, everything. Do you hear me? Everything they asked for, I did it myself. Uh, because I educated myself. Uh, I watched videos. I uh, put in the time. So you're going to have to educate yourself and put in the time to learn what it is that you need to learn to get where you need to be. If it's buying a house. You got to learn um, how to fix your credit. You got to learn what's most important to you. There are some things that you're going to have to learn. You got to learn about the closing costs. Did you know that buying a house that you are responsible for the closing costs? Sometimes you may get the, uh, the seller to pay closing costs, but a lot of times you are responsible for the closing costs. And then we have down payment on top of the closing costs. Sometimes down payment can be up to 20%. You may have to pay 20% of down payment. So guys, educate yourself. If it's something that you want to learn or something that you want to know, or is it something that you want to achieve, educate yourself, okay, on it. Um, don't just go in blind um, and then you have to go back to the drawing board and then, you know, you get confused or 
you you just stop you you just don't want to do it because it's too complicated. Uh, but if you go in and start educating yourself, if somebody tell you something and then you go, okay, let me research this and see what they're what they are talking about is something that I can achieve or is something that I have to go through somebody else to get. Uh, there is always an outlet. Don't think that if there is a wall, don't think that you can cut through. You can cut through it, um, or you can go through somebody to get past that wall. <laughs> So educate yourself so you can achieve the things that you need to achieve. Number four, commitment. Guys, how many times that we have said that we're going to go on a diet or we're going to eat healthy or <laughs> we're going to exercise. I've done it, okay. I've done um, to where uh, I even tried to go be a vegetarian. I went uh, vegan for eight months. I was committed for eight months. And then, um, I don't know, something happened and I wanted some meat one day. And I just said, you know what, I'm just going to um, eat what I want to eat. But I don't eat pork or beef, but I still eat meat. But I was committed for uh, eight months. So you have to stay committed, guys. Um, and I know sometimes life happens. Uh, people get hurt. Um, you know, Things happen to to throw a a, a wrench, you know, in 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 the uh, loop. But you have to stay committed and don't give up. Um, if it's something that you try to go through somebody to get and they won't give it to you, and you just feel like all is lost, like you don't know where else to go, find somebody that can help you. Keep continue to reach out. Stay committed. Continue to do okay. This person won't help me. Let me see who else I can find. Find somebody else. If that person won't help you, go somewhere else. I wouldn't have stayed in business. Um, I've been in business since 2016. If I wasn't committed because it was a lot of times money wasn't coming in. And, you know, I didn't know what how I was going to get my bills paid. But I stayed committed and I talked to people and I reached out to people and so you have to stay committed to your dream when nobody else is. Let me repeat that, okay? You have to stay committed to your dream when nobody else is. A lot of people going to tell you, girl, if you ain't doing this and you ain't making no money, you might as well get you a job and try to find you something else because it's not working. Obviously, it's not working, so you got to do it. But if, if, if you feel it inside of you and you know that what you're doing has a purpose in this world and you know that you can help people stay committed to it you know you may have to get you a part-time job to pay the bills i did okay you may have to get you a part-time job to pay the bills but you still stay committed to your dreams you still find time to to uh bring that that dream to fruition um don't lose hope okay guys all right and two you know, connect with like minds. Uh, join a support group. Find somebody that's in the same field that you're in that's in another state that will help you. Uh, a lot of people will help you if they know that you're not trying to take their business. Maybe if they live in another state and you can reach out to them and say, Hey, I noticed that you're in the same field. Both of us sell bath and body products. Is there anything, um, I'm trying to figure out how I can get more clients. Is there any advice that you can give me without giving me your secret sauce? Is there anything that you can give me that can kind of help me uh, get clients? Because I'm struggling over here and I really need to help. So reach out to people. You know, don't don't be afraid to ask people for help. That's how I ended up where I am now because I reached out to um, SBA. I reached out to SCORE. I reached out to the Chamber of Commerce and uh, Facebook groups. Guys, you can find a lot of information in the Facebook groups. So don't forget that. Uh, join Facebook groups that's in your field of study or something that you're interested in. Join a Facebook group. Facebook group. <laughs> join a Facebook group uh, because... They can answer the questions that you probably can't get somebody else to answer. But if you join a Facebook group and you put that question in there, somebody's going to know what to say and where to direct you. Okay. Number five, the last one, the last one, uh, discipline. 
of course you know repetition creates discipline so of course it's not going to feel right when you do it the first time the second time the third time the fourth time the fifth time even the tenth time it says it takes 17 i believe doing something 17 times before it becomes a routine so just know the first couple of times it's not going to feel right uh you know you may not get it just like exercising first couple of times you're going to be all out of whack all out of breath is you know it you'll probably last two minutes the first time and then three minutes the second time but if you continue continue and discipline yourself and you do it consistently then of course it it gets better after time and then next thing you know you up 20 minutes next thing you know you're working out 30 minutes so guys it discipline i'm telling you is going to help you achieve your 2021 uh, uh goals or resolutions so Reach out to me. I can help you guys. Uh, I do financial literacy. I do credit uh, uh, credit repair. Um, I do. Um, um, oh, what? <laughs> I just went blank. Okay, I do vision board workshops, guys. I do what we call adulting one on one, in which I uh, create uh, situations with teenagers, uh, preteens, and then teenagers up to 24 years of age. I help them uh, create, you know, uh, financial strategies to where they can understand what uh, it takes to be an adult, like paying bills, uh, budgeting, um, creating strategies to invest. So I teach them all of that, and I do it through a game, what we call adult and one-on-one game. And when they get done with that game, I think that game takes about an hour to complete. And when they get done with that game, they know um, uh, financial literacy. They know how to pay a bill or what it takes to pay a bill. They know how to budget. Uh, they know how to invest. Um, we even have questions in there where they have to uh, use the... Um, the soft skills uh, they have to ask you know answer questions about what if somebody steal money from you or what if you witness somebody stealing something what would you do so we go through all of that uh, so I hope this helped you achieve your 2021 it is now time to create that vision board get those goals going guys I know 2020 was horrible for some of you for me, it was a lesson learned. It was things that I needed to go through, and I am blessed to have not had to lose uh, immediate family members to COVID. Uh, we have lost family uh, to COVID, but not immediate family like my children, my brothers and sisters. Uh, everybody is safe and sound, um, but I just want to tell you guys to stay blessed. Um, do what you need to do to be healthy, eat right, uh, drink plenty of fluids, wash your hands, um, uh, take your vitamins, and guys, stay six feet apart, uh, wear your mask, that is most important, wear your face mask, um, when you're out in the public uh, and stand six feet apart and don't shake hands um, and I understand you know you got family members you want to hug you got some people that are huggers uh, but of course we know who we don't know who has it so it's best to just be cautious and it doesn't mean that you don't like the family member you just have to tell them you know I'm just trying to stay safe because uh, there's only one me and so I have to take care of me and I hope you understand that I love you there's nothing uh, against, you know, who you are. It's just that I have to do what I have to do to stay safe right now. So, again, if you guys have any questions, reach out. I am available to you. This is, my name is Anjanette Curry with uh, PBS Financial Coaching and Services. I provide financial literacy. Uh, I help people fix their credit. I help people with budgeting. Uh, I have a credit repair workshop where I show you the things that you need to do to repair your credit. Um, and for those of you that have a first-time uh, loan, 
uh, I think they tell you that you have to go through a credit repair uh, workshop. So I can provide that for you. All right, guys. Um, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Um, and I really appreciate it. You guys have a blessed evening. Bye.